Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install IIS. Um, IIS is um, Internet Information Services, which is sort of like a web server, and you can install this directly on Windows 8. In fact, it's already there, you just need to enable it. So when you're on the start menu here, um, go to uh, right click and go to All Apps at the bottom right here. And then when I have all of my applications showing, I'm going to go to the Control Panel. So just click on All Apps, and we're going to go to Control Panel here. So I'm going to throw you to the control panel, and at the bottom left I have programs. You may have a different category view, but programs is the one that you're looking for. So go ahead and click on programs, and then on the left hand side, uh, sorry, then we need to go to programs and features. You could straight away click on turn Windows features on and off, but I'm going to take you into programs and features if not. Because then if you were on the add to remove program screen, you could press turn Windows features on or off on the left here. Okay, so once it's loaded, um, what you're going to have a look in the middle here, you'll have Internet Information Services. I'm not going to install it because I don't require it myself, uh, but if you just tick the box and press OK, it's going to go ahead and install that for you. You should probably tick the upper one, um, you probably don't require FTP server, but if you tick this one here, it's going to enable everything you're probably going to need, um, and it may require a reboot. I hope that's been useful for you, and um, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, then please subscribe.